fades are an essential component of the editing workflow in Pro Tools. After trimming, editing, and comping audio clips, fades help mask the boundaries between clips, ensuring smooth transitions and seamless playback. In this video, I'm going to show you a few different methods of applying fades in Pro Tools. A fade is a steady volume ramp that you can create on a clip boundary, allowing you to add a gradual increase in volume at the beginning of a clip, or a gradual decrease in volume at the end of a clip. Fades have many different applications, such as smoothing out edits on comped playlists, creating seamless clip overlaps, or building volume fade-ins and fade-outs for music and sound effects. Whether you're working in a music session or a post-production session, fades are essential in audio editing. Fade-ins and fade-outs can be created at the beginning or ending of an audio clip, respectively, using a selection that touches or crosses the clip boundary. To create a fade at the beginning or end of a clip, first toggle on the Selector tool in the Edit Tool cluster at the top of the edit window. Make a selection across a clip's boundary to match the desired fade. The length of the fade is determined by the selection length and the clip boundary itself. Fade ins always begin at the head boundary and fade outs always end at the tail boundary. Extending a selection into a blank area beyond a clip's boundary will not change the fade length. Once you have made a selection for your desired fade, choose Edit, Fades, Create. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command F if you are on Mac or Control F if you are on Windows. After choosing Create, the Fade dialog box will open, giving you the ability to adjust various parameters of the fade. The Fade In dialog box will display the Fade In slope as red. The Fade Out dialog box will display the Fade Out as blue. The Shape sections allow you to choose the shape to use for a Fade In or Fade Out. The standard option creates a single, continuous, general-purpose fade curve, which can be edited by dragging the curve in the Curve Editor. The S-Curve option selects an S-shaped curve. S-shaped curves can be useful with material that is difficult to fade effectively. You can edit S-shaped curves by dragging in the Curve Editor. Various preset curves are available under the third option. These can also be edited in the Curve Editor. The Slope section of the Fade dialog box provides equal power and equal gain options. Fades with equal power slopes retain more of their amplitude for a greater portion of the fade in comparison to equal gain fades. When you are ready to apply your fade to the selected clip with your desired settings, click OK. Your selected clip will now have a visual representation of the fade at the beginning or end point. The Smart tool can be used to add, edit, or delete fades on a clip without needing to open a dialog box. This can be extremely useful for streamlining your workflow when working with audio clips. To activate the Smart Tool, navigate to the top of the Edit Tool cluster and click on this bar. All three tools will light up blue. This means that the Smart Tool is active. With the Smart Tool active, position your cursor at the bottom corner of the audio clip. The cursor will turn into a half square with two diagonal lines across it. This is the fade icon when using the Smart Tool. You can now quickly add a fade by simply clicking and dragging from outside of the clip boundary to the middle. The length of the fade will adjust according to how far you drag your mouse in the process. Once a fade has been added to the clip, you can edit its length and slope with the Smart Tool as well. With the Smart Tool still active, position your cursor over the fade graphic at the point where the fade icon appears. This is a half-shaded square for fade-ins and fade-outs. Click and drag left and right on the fade curve. The fade graphic will be replaced with a yellow preview curve while you drag. Release the mouse when the preview represents your desired shape. There may be times when you want to add fades to multiple clips at once. If you have comped together a vocal playlist from a variety of different takes, for example, 
you will want to apply fade-ins and fade-outs to each audio clip in that playlist. Using batch fades will greatly speed up this process. To apply batch fades to multiple audio clips, select one or more audio clips on a track. Then navigate to Edit, Fades, Create, or use Command F on Mac or Control F on Windows. The Batch Fades dialog box will open. Here you can adjust the parameters of the fade in, crossfade, and fade out settings as desired. The length field allows you to specify the length of the fade to be applied. Fade lengths are specified in milliseconds. Once you are satisfied with your settings, click OK. Now, you may not immediately see the changes you've made, but if we zoom in over a clip boundary, we will see that a fade has been applied. This will be true for every clip boundary in our selection.